Do you want to send out emails using Bravo? Well, in today's Bravo tutorial, I will show you step by step how to do exactly that. We are going to go through how to actually set up your account, how to go through all of the settings needed to send out emails. And I will then also show you how to use the built-in email builder inside Bravo to build beautiful emails within a few clicks. Let's get started by heading over to Bravo. As you can see, the goal of Bravo is to grow with the email marketing platform and the CRM suit. And Bravo is being used by over 500,000 customers, including eBay, Michelin, Amnesty International, Louis Vuitton, and a lot of more. To get started, let's actually sign up for a free Bravo account. By using my affiliate link down below, you can support me for completely free of charge. Simply just click on here and then go through the questions right here. I'm simply just going to continue with a Google account for now. Next step would be to actually go through these couple of questions. I'm just going to put in random examples and I'm just going to actually process with them. Click on continue and now we will have to put in our address. This is required by law to actually show up on all of your emails. So make sure to put in something genuine right here. In my case, I'm just going to once again go with an example in my city. Answer these questions as well and then validate your phone number. You can then find an overview of all of the pricing plans right here. You can start with the free plan. However, I would obviously recommend you to go with either the starter plan or the business plan if you really do want to take your email marketing serious. This is going to include no sending limits, more customizable email templates. You can actually also remove the Bravo logo and you're going to get a lot of other great benefits like A-B testing, advanced reporting and a lot more. However, to actually make it more easy for you guys, I'm actually going to to continue with the free plan for now. All right, so let's now continue by actually going for the additional verification. To do so, head over to the compliance page. Make sure to actually read through this and make sure to double check. In my case, I think they've just suspended my account as I'm building up an example account and already have my own Bravo account. So I'm just going to continue with this tutorial. Now, first of all, if you already have contacts on any other site like the Active Campaign and so on, you can actually easily import them by heading over to contacts and by then clicking on import contacts. You're then going to have the option to either import email contacts, companies, deals or notes. I'm just going to continue with normal contacts and I'm then going to actually upload a CSV file. So this is going to be the first option. You can also copy and paste your contacts or you can actually import it from another tool. So I'm just going to go for the CSV file option and I'm then going to actually upload this onto this. The second step would be to actually confirm a file and we will then have to map our data. In this case, most of the time this actually has been done uh, by default, but for this contact ID, um, let's actually, yeah, let's just select do not import as this contact ID isn't really important. Now the first name file header, this is important. So let's actually uh, align this onto the first name right here. Last name, let's align this onto last name. Business name, we don't need to import. Da, 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 we don't need to import. Email, by default already has been set as email, perfect. And as for the rest, we don't actually need that. So just click on confirm mapping and then select a list which you want to add this onto. Now lists are mostly, uh, mostly going to be used to actually categorize your contacts. I'm just going to add it onto my first list right here. We can then finalize our import. I'm just going to confirm the opt-in agreement and we can then actually add these contacts. Perfect. Now, when we are now going to head to the left and under lists, we can then find our first list. And inside this, we can find all of the contacts available. We can then actually also open them up. And this is going to give us an advanced overview of all of the different things going on with this contact. We can see an overview of the analytics, the recent history, the information, channels, and so on. Now, Bravo actually also backs off as a complete CRM, which is important to keep in mind. Obviously, for this tutorial, we are going to focus on sending out emails and email marketing campaigns. But if you would, for example, set up a Bravo CRM, you could add the deals inside right here, add companies and basically connect this onto a company and so on. You are also going to have the option to write inside here, send out an email to this contact or call them, which in my opinion actually is a really nice feature and it makes just reaching out to certain kind of contacts it's way easier.
But let's now actually get to the campaigns tab on the left. And right here, we can then actually send out our email marketing campaign and we can send out our emails. We will have to select email right here. However, Bravo is also going to have the option to send out SMS, WhatsApp and web push. I'm going to select email. As for the campaign type, we do have either regular or A-B test. A-B test is a great feature. However, I can show this here right now because this is only going to be available in the paid plan. As for the campaign name, I'm just going to go for something like test123. Create a campaign. And let's now actually go through all of the details. As for the sender, this would be marktutorials, marklands.gmail.com. Actually, what I would recommend you to do is to customize this. What do I mean by that? Well, I would recommend you to actually add a new sender and make sure that this sender has a professional email address. In this case, this could, for example, be elias at eliaskrause.com. Make sure that you don't have a Gmail address as this will just seem unprofessional and can also hurt the overall deliverability of your video, uh, of your emails. Now, as for the recipients, I'm just going to add them right here. And we are then just going to send this onto our first folder and onto our first list right here. Of course, you can choose whatever kind of list you want. I'm just going to select the first list right here as I don't want to overcomplicate this. As for the subject, um, right here you will have to, have to basically put in something which is going to incentivize the people on opening up this email. So I'm just going to put in hey. And one thing which I actually really like is that we can put in personalization onto the subject. So right here we can actually choose an attribute. I'm just going to select the first name and um, we can then simply just insert this. And now this is always going to say hey and the first name. So hey Elias. And then I'm going to put in have you heard about, I don't know. I'm not going to uh, actually customize this right now. However, we can then actually also add a preview text and you're going to see the template right here on the right and you're going to see the preview of how this is going to look like. And additionally, you can also use AI for this, which you don't basically make sure to actually use this because especially nowadays, AI is super powerful when actually creating content, uh, content for emails. Now, as for the actual email design, this is probably by far the most important part of this. First of all, what I would recommend you to do is to set up a brand right here. This will just make the overall flow of this way easier and like this you're automatically going to have the same brand colors, the same font and so on along all of your emails. This is also automatically going to import the logo and so on. Now I'm going to skip the brand setup right now. However, make sure to set this up for your own brand. This is going to save you hours of your time. Right here, we are then going to have a couple of wireframe templates, which we can all use. You can, for example, also go for template gallery. And right here, you can then actually see all of the templates available. So let's, for example, go for something like this right here. Let's preview this and let's see if we like this. Yeah, I think, oh, or let's actually go for something else. Or maybe, yeah, let's just stick with that. So just click on use template. And right here, this is going to be the actual email template editor or the email uh, editor as a whole. Now, this is going to work the following. You are going to find all of the different content, style and AI settings on the left. Under content, you do have blocks and sections. Sections are going to be used as pre-made uh, kind of blocks and elements, which you can then simply just insert and customize. If you do want to build up something from scratch, you will have to add blocks. And these blocks can be actually anything from titles, text, images to buttons. And you can then actually also add spacers. You can add the dividers, for example. Uh, this is going to be black in this case. Uh, and you can then basically add whatever you want. You can actually always select certain kind of elements. And once you do so, you're going to find all of the settings on the left. Okay. So this would be the way, or this would be the place where you can then actually change the text, the text alignment as well. You can change the background, layout, spacing, borders, and basically anything related to this text. So let's, for example, say that we do want to add a button onto this. In this case, we would simply just have to drag this on here and we can then put in whatever you want. So I'm just going to put in minus, or let's just say 20% of all bicycles. And in this case, uh, on the left, we can change the width. We can actually enable that this should have uh, rounded corners, which I actually like. I think something, yeah, let's go with 10. And let's see how this looks. Yeah, I think something like this looks really neat. Uh, we can then change the borders, the layout, spacing, and so on. 
And when we are going to select this, we can then actually also add the link on here. So we are going to have quite a lot of different type of links. We can, for example, simply just add a URL. We can add a phone number. We can add an unsubscribe link, double opt-in, view in browser, and a lot of other stuff as well. Now, once you're happy with your email design, you can always change the overall style on the left. This is going to include stuff like the background color, text appearance, button spacing. And once again, if you have actually set up your brand library, this is going to be automatically done by default. So once you actually have your first email, make sure to click on preview and test. This is super important. Like this, you can always double check how it is going to look like. You can then actually also view the mobile version of this and you can actually uh, choose if you like this email. You can then actually preview this email right here. But in my case, I'm just going to click on here and I'm going to click on save and quit. So once we now have this done, we can actually send out our email. You can actually also edit some additional settings. This is going to include stuff like personalization, sending and tracking and subscription. I would recommend you to simply just leave this out for now and then you can actually send out your email and you can actually either send it instantly or you can also schedule it. Now, if you do want to build up more advanced automations, more like customer journeys really, um, you can also do that inside Brevo, also inside the free plan, which is really powerful. So simply just head over to the left right here and on the automations, you can then create your automations. And here you can then actually add your workflow and so on. I've previously actually made an in-depth tutorial on how to create automations inside Brevo. So make sure to watch that video, it's on the screen right now to actually get started with that. Otherwise, make sure to sign up to Bravo with the link down below and I will see you in the next one.